All right, well, there's the problem with having thousands of acres out here to hide in, is that they've hidden themselves. My guess is that they're laid down somewhere out here in a coulee or something like that. There's not too far they could have really gone. Um, but I'm not having any luck finding them this morning. So this is gonna be a bit of a cliffhanger because you're gonna to have to subscribe, follow along as we explore the ranch life, escape the ordinary, hit the little bell button so you get notifications uh, when new videos come out. Our next video is due out Thursday at uh, four o'clock mountain time. In that video, we will have an update to what's going on here with our missing bottle calves. A little worried, not horribly worried, just, just a, a little bit ranch. Hi Bambi, how are you? Hey, do you know where those kids are at? Do you know where they're at? Those delinquents? Yeah. Do you know where they're at? She has no idea. We have to put a GPS on you guys? Maybe we should do that. That would be a lot of fun. Ah, you just licked me. All right, guys, I really do feel bad because I just ended our last video on this big old cliffhanger about where the missing bottle calves are and will we ever find them again. Uh, we found them. Literally just finished filming, drove 100 yards, and there they are. All four of them hanging out together down here. Hey guys. Kind of being turds. Hi. Hey guys. Hey Marty. How are you, Frida? How are you, kiddo? So this actually gives me a really cool idea, and I mentioned it at the la at the end of the last video, and that was that we should put GPS on one of these cows and see exactly what they do. Well, we do have a GPS system. It's actually for our dog, and I think what I'm going to do, and if you notice here, Frida still has her collar on. We forgot to take her collar off. Come here, Frida. Frida, hey, come here, come here. We forgot to take her collar off uh, when we brought her down here. So what I'm thinking is I'm gonna grab the dog's GPS, throw it on the calf and uh, and see what they do in a day. But I'm gonna have to get it charged and bring it back down here. So, so now that I know where they're at, uh, we can get that taken care of. So I think it'll be a lot of fun, something cool to show uh, in this video. Uh, obviously we found the bottle caps but we're gonna make sure we don't lose them again. And we're gonna, little geo tag. I brought down a bottle for these guys, but I only brought down one, ow. So we gotta share. <laughs> oh my God, you guys are crazy. Here, you can have some. We gotta share. We gotta share, come on. Okay, who's next? Marty? Ow, you're on my foot. You're on my foot. Okay, that's enough. Ah! Here. I brought you all another tree. Here. There, eat that. Oh my gosh. The animal. I'm escaping while I can. Ooh. Get out. Get out of the cater, Marty. Holy crap. All right. Now that I know where they're at, I can grab our GPS, bring it back down, and uh, tag these guys. We'll be able to track them for a little bit. That'll be some fun. Another weird transition. I never know how to do these transitions because I was literally just here. Uh, go back to the house, grab some stuff, come back, and, uh, and now we're back. So kind of a, a weird deal. Uh, what I went back to the house, spent about the last hour doing, was actually I stole from our dog Bean. I stole her tracker, and what that is is actually a little tiny. This is it right here. 
This actually goes on her collar. Now this is uh, part of an app that's called Tractive. Uh, we got it from uh, Amazon, cost about $50 for this little thing and you can actually get insurance on it in case you lose it. And then the uh, app itself costs about, uh, I think it's like 10 bucks a month and we're able to track everywhere that our dog goes. And I thought, you know what, this would be kind of cool to put onto a cow. Unfortunately, I really haven't figured out how to attach it to a cow. But our calves, if you may have noticed, actually wear collars. And one of those collars, the collar on Frida, we forgot to take off when we came down uh, and dropped them off with these guys. So I figured I would attach this to Frida's collar, and over the next 24 hours, we'll keep track of pretty much everything that these calves do. So I found them already. They've moved a little bit uh, from where we were previously, um, but we're gonna swing down and uh, get a look at them, and we're gonna get this attached to Frida's collar. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna put it back on Frida. We may put it back on Marty just because um, she's a little bit easier to deal with, but we're gonna swing down and take a look. Hey kids. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, there's Frida. Okay. Hey, kiddos. Hey there, bottle calves. Hi. Hi. Hi, Frida. Hello. They want more bottles. I didn't bring down any more bottles, but I did bring down some creep, um, which they'll hang out here and chew on. So pour that out. We're going to sneak around here and come here. Come here. Come here. See if we can get a hold of Frida's collar. Nope. Come here. Come here. See if we can get it off of her. Oh, no. Hey, hold still. Hold still. Trying to get your collar off. There you go, girl. Good girl. Whew. Got it off. Okay. So we're just going to attach this onto her collar. And a little bit of tape. I had to do this on Bean because she kept on losing these things, so I like to tape them on also. And then we are going to put this on Marty here. Hey, Marty. go girl now you're being tracked I'll show you what this looks like in the app here in just one second but first I want to talk about something that's totally unrelated and that is my hat you may have noticed over the last few videos that I've been wearing a new hat and this hat actually comes from Gone Country Hat Company we are very proud to be able to work with them at this point and and promote their hat uh, they are a great little company, American-owned. They're down in Orlando, Florida, and uh, they make hats, obviously, and I like them. Uh, I've been wearing them for quite a while, getting used to them, uh, making sure I knew what I liked and what I didn't like, and this is actually the Cut Bank hat. Um, you can check it out on their website. We're going to throw a, des a description or a link down in the description uh, for you to go and check out. It's Gone Country Hat Company, uh, a great little company, and one of the really cool things about them is that I like that they're, they're, uh, they're a small company. Uh, they're not a giant, great big old hat company that you can't get a hold of anybody in fact when you call customer service nine nine times out of ten you're gonna end up talking to the owner of the company which i think is pretty cool so keep an eye out for some really cool things coming from gone country uh, of course we do make a small commission on every single sale so when you are buying hats from them you're helping support the ranch but more importantly five percent of every sale of a hat that you go through our link actually goes to our nonprofit, the edible prairie project which is all about feeding local food to low-income families in our community. So you're doing a great favor um, to everybody. You're helping support the ranch, you're helping support EPP, and you're helping support an American-owned business. So check them out, Gone Country Hats. There's a link, it's owl-hats.com. It's down in the description. When you click on that link, it takes you right to their website, and uh, you'll be able to check out their huge selection of hats that are not only great hats, but they're also affordable, because that's one thing I always hear from Aaron is, uh, your $300 hat ended up where? In the pond? Ugh. And then, you know, then I got to hear about that. So... <laughs>
<laughs> this works out a whole lot better for me as well. So thank you very much for uh, going to their website, checking them out. If you are looking for a hat, uh, you're gonna find one there that you will definitely love. So here we go. Our calves are all hooked up. They've got their GPS tracker right there on Marty. I'm gonna grab my phone because uh, this app is actually called Tractive, uh, T-R-A-C-T-I-V-E. And it should update here to where we are at. Now it's gonna show Bean's picture because Bean is the dog. But if you look at the screen itself, right there, this little blue dot is where we're at. And right there is where it's showing that the, uh, the calf is at. It is showing uh, that we're obviously a little bit off um, from where they're at. In fact, it just updated. So there we are, we're, that's the dog, and we're right there at the blue dot. But one of the really cool things that we can do is we can actually go into live mode. And so that gives us a live tracking of wherever this calf may be. So right now, uh, Marty's here running around like an idiot, um, but I have live turned on. You can see it right there. And there it is. Another really cool thing that I can do is the AR, which is augmented reality. And it'll show, you can see, it's pretty close. I mean, it's showing where Bean is at. That's not Bean, that's Marty, but it's pretty close. We can return to the map and we're right there. So over the next 24 hours, it's gonna track everywhere that these guys go. It's gonna keep track of their mileage and everything else, um, as well as like their, uh, they get like active points. That's more for a dog that you wanna make sure is out actually doing something. This is not sponsored by the way at all by Tractive, but we've been using it for a few months and it's actually worked pretty good, except for the one that being lost, we had to buy another one and get it all set up. So, uh, oh yeah, and before somebody says, well, why don't you put it on all the cows? You'd be able to track them. You do have to charge the dang thing. So battery only lasts uh, about uh, 48 hours or so. Um, so we charge it every night for Bean. But for these guys, they're gonna be on their own for the next 24 hours. And uh, hopefully they move around a little bit. But we're gonna track it as we go. So we will come back, we'll check this out in just a little bit and we'll have another weird transition because I'm not sure how to do that one. Bye guys. And we're back right on down here in the, uh, well, the Cavs old stomping grounds. It's about 7.30 this evening, moon is up in the sky. And I thought we'd come back and take a look at the app, kind of see what exactly these guys have been up to, uh, at least throughout the day. Now I put out, uh, I put the uh, tracker on them at about 10 o'clock this morning. So now at 7.34, you can see, and we're kind of going back in time here. So we're going back, seeing where they were, four o'clock, three o'clock, two o'clock. Uh, and the mileage that they put on over the entire day is actually pretty incredible. Right there is where I put it on. And we're coming back around. Now we're at 11. There's noon. They just passed a mile right about two o'clock. Three, four, five, six, and seven. Uh, what, 2.56 miles total. The other cool thing is you can see the heat map on this app of where they like to hang out. And as we zoom out, there we go. There's the entire ranch. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to leave this thing on here overnight. And in the morning, we'll go back out and check, kind of see what they did at night. I'm kind of interested to see how much they wander around. Now, this was their entire life. This little tiny corral is where they have pretty much lived for the last, what, five months or so. So They've got a whole new world to get out and roam around in, so I hope they enjoy it. We're gonna let you guys go for the night. We'll be back in the morning and uh, check on these little guys and see what they did. How do they make the moon look so big in videos? I have to zoom in on it or something. Uh, very hazy out here today due to some uh, wildfires that are burning in the area. We've got quite a bit of smoke 
uh, down on top of us, but that shouldn't stop us from trying to find our bottle calves this morning and seeing what they've been up to. Uh, as you can see, I've got the, uh, the tracker pulled up here on my phone. The blue dot is us, and of course the picture of the dog, well, that's our bottle calves because I didn't change out the picture. So we're going to try to find these guys and uh, hopefully uh, we can do it. Looks like they're pretty close to a fence line, but not exactly sure. We're going to kind of hone in on their location. trying to help us. They're not showing up on the tracker, but we're getting pretty dang close. I don't see them yet, but uh, now they're out here somewhere. So tracking showing seven minutes ago, they were right over here. Now this isn't really pinpoint, you know, GPS accuracy a lot of times, but Oh, where did we go? We fell off the map. Okay. So, got to be somewhere around here, right? No way, it's showing us we're, we're right on top of them. Huh. All right. So, that's not working. So, I'm going to switch to a live view. So, they moved. We got a flip flop. We're in the wrong pasture. up here on a bit of a ridge so I can see a majority of the cows they're a mile a mile and a half down that way maybe um, we are actually gonna pull this up you know, it's a GPS signal too weak hold on all right live is working I'm gonna switch to the AR the augmented reality I don't have enough hands and it's going to show they're a half a mile away, straight down that way. All right, let's go find them. So I'm beginning to wonder if these calves some, have some sort of biological clock because it was just about this time yesterday, 24 hours ago, just after 10 o'clock, that we came down and put the GPS tracker on Marty. And of course, now, there she is again. GPS tracker is still on and here she comes. Hey girl, how you doing? How you doing? You okay? I guess we're gonna have to get the tracker off of her. Might as well get that done. Come here, Marty. Oh, yeah, oh, you're so big. Come here, no, I need your collar. Hey, stop, stop. Hey, just relax, just relax for a second. There we go, all right. <laughs> Some GPS tracker's off, a little dirty. Not quite sure what she was doing with it, 
but I didn't bring you guys any food today. I'm sorry. It's time for you guys to grow up. Be big cows. All right, GPS tracker. We've got the calf trying to climb in the gator. All right, guys. Come on, move your butt. Nope, I gotta kick you out. She says, I don't wanna go. Come on, move. All right. Oh my gosh, you guys are fine. Just relax, go eat some grass and be cows and do cow things. So, we now have all the data that we need. Um, I'm gonna close live tracking. And now we're back uh, to our just regular, regular video here, or regular tracking. Um, this is the cool part. We can actually take a look now at what went on over the last 24 hours. So, we are not, where are we at? So, uh, there's where we're at today. And we can actually roll this back now. See what happens. So you can see as they moved across the field. And that little, the little mileage there is how many miles they put on over the entire 24 hours. So, let me roll that back to 10 a.m. So, right there is where we put it on yesterday at 10 a.m. And they rolled through. Lots of activity down in this area. They're just kind of hanging out. You can see that. Took back off up there. Strolled all the way down there. Up to almost four miles. And then came all the way back. And ended up at eight. Well, hold on. Not quite up to the current time that it is right now. Hold on. 8.87 miles uh, these guys put on in the last 24 hours. So, good job. Lots of walking. You got your steps in. You did. You sure did. You got all your steps in. But, we do have to leave these guys alone. The, uh, the tracking, very cool. It'd be nice to have it on every single cow. It'd be cool to be able to just pull up Bambi and be like, what did she do the last 24 hours? Fortunately, like I said, you have to charge that thing every, I don't know, couple days or something like that. Depends on how much you use the live tracking. I think that's what really burns the batteries down. But it would be really cool. You'd have to put a solar panel on a cow or something. Um, but very cool technology. Hopefully, uh, we'll build up to the point that we can actually use it with all the cows. So that's it for us, right? We're all done? We're all done. Uh, we are going to cut you guys loose for the day. Uh, be sure to check out uh, the link down in the description. It's owl-hats.com. That'll take you to the Gone Country website. Of course, like I said, 5% uh, purchase of every single hat going directly to our nonprofit, the Edible Prairie Project, supporting an American-owned business and, of course, helping out the ranch as well. Thanks, guys, for hanging out with us once again. I hope you enjoyed uh, finding the calves and also being able to see what they do in a standard day. That's a lot of miles, eight, eight and a half miles almost. It's a lot of work. That's lots, lots more than I walked. Alrighty, guys. We'll see you later. And thanks for being a part of our Wyoming life. Do you guys want to say goodbye? We'll see you at preconditioning, okay? Actually, I'll probably see you a little later on today. Bye, Marty.